Hi, <laughs> how you doing? This set here I got from Amazon and it was $19.99. Um, I already made one and I posted it on Facebook, but my video was really white. Also, when I loaded it on uh, YouTube, so I'm like, forget, you know, I'm not even going to put it on there, but somebody bought this and because uh, I posted it on my Facebook business page, so I want one for my bathroom because my whole entire bathroom is nothing but ocean. I mean, I have my big round board ones with my ocean, and I have um, fish and shells and, oh my gosh, an ocean clock, everything. So I really want one in there. So anyway, let's take a look. This is about a, a 10 by 12. And it turned out very pretty. You just have to be careful with the waves because you got such narrow here. You don't want to burn your, so getting cells and all that is the last of my concern. But I love them because they turn out really puffy and pretty. And really metallic pearl in there. I love the sand though. <laughs> Some glass glitter. Mermaid glitter, just a little bit more glass glitter. Sand dollars. And then the Maui, and then that kind of blended in with the blue. Isn't that pretty blue? So, it turned out really nice. Super, super love it. <laughs> uh, so anyway, the set, yeah. Nineteen ninety nine. I've seen it other places, so I haven't mentioned, but for a lot more. Get the turtle, same size, about ten by twelve. And the whale, which is super cool. I figured this one you could put handles on. And I have those molds that you can make your own handles. I figure maybe clear with some seashells in it would look really awesome with ocean waves. But I'm waiting to get the just resin paste in the mail, which, uh, yeah, I'm not even going to do these until I get that paste because this casting craft never gives me, it's not good luck for me and waves. I don't know. Maybe I'm not doing it right yet, but I have gotten the waves, but they always go away. But yeah, with this one, you have to be careful because you can't, you have to use a lot of heat and these will burn. So I'm going to use this white sand I got from Primal Pigments and this Maui from Primal Pigments. And this came free with uh, oh, an order of that 500 heat resistant top coat stuff I use for my coasters. It's beautiful blue. It's from Countertop Epoxy. Then, of course, the casting craft for the fluffy wave and pearl alcohol ink with it to give it a shimmer. And I'm using the, uh, let's see, the premium quality clear epoxy resin from the epoxy resin store. And I like working with that. Looks real good. So, we will get started with the sand. I think I covered everything. And thanks for being here and for watching. Okay. So I have this bowl. This cute little tiny one. It's probably about five inches wide. About five. Yeah. I figured um, whatever I have left over, I'm going to put some sand on the bottom. And make like a cute little, you know, fish bowl with a real a fake fish in there <laughs> so but I will be finishing that in another video <laughs> but I'm just gonna if I have some left over yeah might, might as well use because this is how much resin I made up and that's way too much for the sand so pour this in here Hey, this shimmers. This stuff sparkles. 
Yeah, might as well use it all because I'm going to be needing it. Yeah, that sparkles. Check it out. Can you see the sparkle? Yeah. Oh, my can my video comes up. I'm going to be mad. So add your resin real slow because you want this to be thick so it don't run like my turtle one I did. It'll always darken a little too. I knew that wasn't enough. But go slow. Don't just think, well, it's good. It's new. Look how fast it. So I'm going to stir that up. Blend it in. Um, like I said, you don't want it all the way to the top because you got your top coat you want. There we go. Now I want to add the seashells and stuff. Okay. Some natural shell pieces. I just throw them in, you know. Because they look natural in the highway for some reason. Actually, I want that in a different spot. These white kind. I like them upside down too. Then some glass glitter. I like the silver. All kind of been cluttered in one spot here and there. Now my bowl with the rest of my sand. I added some of that bigger sand to it. This is gonna be cute. I don't have my own fish. I don't have to feed them. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna let this cure. Let's zoom in. Okay, so it's been all day long. It's late. <laughs> Put it that way. It's hard as rock. I kind of took some of the glitter out and I think a couple shells. I felt it was a little overcrowded, but it looks good now. Uh, yeah. Not sure what I'm going to think about the white sand compared to the darker sand. But we'll see. So, just going to make up my... So, I need just a little bit of each, really, because you don't want to... I don't want to go too far up or it'll ruin the whole thing. Got to leave a top coat, you know, because it's just... It'll look nice with the top coat for the sand. 
Let's see, that's good for that. That's good for that. Let's make them even. Even Steven. I think that's good. And I'll stir that up real good. Okay. So that was the perfect amount. Excuse me, my nose is runny. It's allergy time. And I will stir that up. So I have to go real slow. So I'll probably fast forward this part. And I'm just going to take a little bit of blue. Run it in here just a little. Just a little bit. Don't want to mix it too much. A bit of this up in the blue. It is pretty. The white. Oh. Oh, why I'm using a big stick. It's kind of ridiculous. That that's pretty though. I will put just a little bit of white in here, you know, up in here. Not too much, though. Okay, so she's completely dry and hard. <laughs> it's been about, geez, maybe 12 hours overnight. Um, so, yeah. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put some of the, the top coat. But I'm using Pro Marine. I want a thicker resin than the uh, Premium. Because it's sort of like, since I don't have enough room to heat it too much in fear to burn the molds, I have to basically use a thicker resin just like I would uh, for the bloom flowers to get them to puff up like clouds, you know, look realistic in a way. So I'm just letting this, the white sat a little bit and I added about three drops of the casting craft about five drops of the pearl alcohol ink and just a smidge little dollop of this crystal white Arteza mica powder to give it that extra shimmer and so I'll 
go ahead and just pour in the clear and get the bubbles out and then add the waves. But I made this out of what I had remaining. It's very pretty. And all I did was just pour from the sides. You know, one, the blue, and then the Maui, and then the blue, and it kind of just pulls in like that. Really easy technique, and they always turn out really pretty on the back, so I can't wait to see that one. I can actually open that now because it's hard, <laughs> but we'll wait for this one. Um, okay, so let me put my gloves on and we'll get started. It's always hard to shorten these videos because I like to add information to them. You know, if I go too fast, then people ask me questions. So I like to just go at least no more than a 30 minute video. And I know a lot of people skip through them. There's times I do too because I know resin work. But those that don't know how, that's why I add the bits, you know. So here we go. Make sure there's nothing on there. There was, no. I will add some wave up here like I did the other one. I'm kind of liking this one a little bit more because I'm seeing more of the Maui. I put too much white up in the Maui and the other one. Anyway, and I'm so glad that I eliminated some of the sparkle. I took out a lot of the glitter. I went way overboard. But now it's nice. It's pretty. Okay. So here goes. I'll fast forward to this part. So I'll just let it cool down a little bit. Try not to get close to the... Try something different real quick. See what happens.
Yeah, it looks pretty. Okay. That's so pretty. I love this stuff when it fluffs up like that. Very pretty. There we go. Okay, so I'm totally loving this. I love doing these. Oh my gosh. So I just thought of it. Pull some of this white down in there between those rocks, you know. Make it look like it's circling around there. This is after it's setting just for a little bit. Kind of neat how you can do that. And it's actually not in between there. It's on the surface. So some around this. Two. There we go. That is so cool. Love it. Here, zoom it in so you can see it. Check out that one. I like the bloom. That's one thing I like about this crafting, casting craft. All right, I'm gonna zoom out. Yeah, it's good. Perfect amount too down here. So stay tuned for the unmolding. <laughs> Hopefully you don't change. I want it to stay just the way it is. <laughs> I don't think it's going to much, as long as I don't move my tray. <laughs> okay, so it's been good eight hours, and it's hard. But it's like when I pick it up, I can tell, like, it's just a tiny bit maybe underneath still a little. I mean, it's not completely hardened, but it's good enough to take it out, as long as I leave it flat. <laughs> Guess I'm always impatient. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just, this turned out really good. Peel these back first. Checking before I strip it off. Good, nothing stuck. Like this is still sealed. That's a pretty one. I can't decide which one I like better. <laughs> Look at that. That's so pretty. I'm so glad I took out some of that glitter. That was so crowded okay take that off me that was a big goop there all right This is how you do it when it's a little bendy. Right on. So there it is. That's the back. <laughs> Make sure that none of those little particles get on there. You know what? That really turned out nice. Check it out. Let's zoom the camera down instead of handling it. We'll, we'll look at the sides and they're just normal. You know?
It's pretty. Very awesome. Very cool. I like that one right in the middle. Hey, what happened to the... It must have floated back. I covered some over the rock. Oh, it's just very hard to see. Yeah. It must have floated in there. It's just very light tints of it. Let's go in. That one stayed. Except on the other side it didn't. There we go. I'm going to zoom up now. There we go. Okay. Sorry about all that, but that's how I ain't got to do it. Let's check this one out. This is pretty. Should have put something in the middle but i had my resin sitting there and i had to use it up and i wasn't I was in a hurry in my head you know but oh that is so cool oh, i love them when they do that isn't that neat that is so cool what side would I use? Probably this one. That is just too cool to lay downward. Look at the metallics in that. Metallics. <laughs> yeah, but it's a good thing I didn't put that in there because it would have been right smack dab in the middle of this creation. Right on. Isn't that something? <laughs> I don't know if what I like better, this or the anchor. Oh, that is really awesome. So that's it for this one. I got other ones coming up that I put sand in and stuff. Um, thank you for watching. Hopefully everybody has a wonderful week starting. Everybody stays positive and awesome. Thanks for coming back and watching. Have a good one. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.